I'm Rick Howard, president of Kingdom Magic Vacations. In my job, I get to travel a lot. I explore the world on land and sea, eating in unique restaurants, and discovering interesting locations. I'm always looking for new places to visit, and I want you to travel with me. Welcome to Travel with Rick. Well, hey guys, welcome to this week's show. And by the time you're watching this, well, if you're watching it on the day that we aired it, September 19th, Les and I are on the Disney Magic on the way back from Barcelona, Spain. We flew to Barcelona, got on the ship, and we're doing a transatlantic cruise from Barcelona to San Juan, 14 night cruise. What else is cool about September 19th is, yep, this is the day that the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival officially opens, and we're not there. This is the first time in over 10 years that we've missed an opening of Food and Wine Festival, and if I wasn't on the Disney Magic right now, I'd be really bummed. I'm really bummed anyway. I wish I was at Food & Wine meeting you guys there and having lots of great food. But we're desperately, desperately, as soon as the captain can get the ship there, trying to get to Epcot. And we'll see you there for sure. So we're going to do it a little different this year. You know, last year, the year before, we've done 31 days of Food & Wine. We're not going to be able to do 31 days because we're on a ship and it's really tough. So, and they made it a lot longer this year. So what we thought we'd do is go old school travel with Rick the way we used to do it and do those Friday episodes with a couple of booths, three or four, maybe five uh, marketplaces in one video. It's going to be awesome. And we're also going to do them back to back. In past years, we haven't always, we've kind of spaced them out. Well, this year from today, September 19th, all the way to November 14th, we're going to run eight Friday episodes of nothing but food and wine. It's going to be epic. We're going to go all the way around. Yes, we're going to eat all the things. We're going to drink everything. We're going to tell you all about it. You can follow us around, and you guys that follow us around and want to go to the marketplaces and check out what we're having, you can do that as well. So we'll be telling you what we're having. I've got the usual suspects coming back, all of our old friends that you love having on Travel with Rick, helping me try out all the food and wine. Yeah, they'll be here. The great ones that you know, and maybe even a few new ones. And of course, we're looking forward to seeing you guys there. I want to meet you at Food and Wine this year. So if you see us around filming, eating, drinking, come up and say hi. We'll have some pens, we'll have some buttons, we'll have some stickers. We've got all kinds of swag that we're going to be giving away. And of course, we want to see you. Um, say hi and tell you thanks for watching our show. We really appreciate that. So, to recap, oh, wait a minute, I got one more surprise too. Remember the video that we did last year where I trained for food and wine? Well, I didn't get my training in this year with John and Andrew and Rhino Ken who came out and helped me train for it. So, I thought I'd go back and watch that video a couple of times and I thought maybe you guys should go back and watch it, watch it also. So, today, I've got the first ever one-of-a-kind Travel with Rick rerun for you guys. We've never done a rerun here on Travel with Rick in the whole multiple years we've been doing this. So we're going to show you that episode last year. It was one of my favorite episodes we did. It was just a lot of fun shooting that, hanging out with all the guys, and uh, kind of training for Epcot Food and Wine Festival. You know, running up those stairs, doing the Rocky thing. It was pretty cool. I think it was epic, actually. So just to recap then. <sighs> Leslie and I are on the Disney Magic. We're somewhere between Barcelona, Spain, and San Juan, Puerto Rico, desperately trying to get to Epcot Food and Wine Festival to see you there. We're going to be doing videos from September 19th all the way up to November 14th. Eight weeks of food and wine here on Travel with Rick, all in a row, all the things, all the beverages. Yes, we're checking it all out. We're bringing it to you. And lastly, of course, we want to meet you guys there at the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. We've got swag and we want to say hi. We want you to come up to us. If you see us around, make sure you come up and say hi. We want to give you a big hug and a thanks for watching the show because we really appreciate you guys hanging out with us at Epcot Food and Wine Festival. So, if you're all ready, here we go. Here's that training video from last year. Thanks a lot for watching. Looking forward to seeing you at Epcot at the Food and Wine Festival real soon. So long, everybody. It's time to go. All right, Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. We need some clothes.
Epcot Food and Wine Festival is over there. Before I can go over there, I gotta get in better shape. I'm gonna need help. I can't do this on my own. Hey John, I really need you bud. Can you come over? Man, I'm glad you're here. Good to be here, bro. You will see in time. It's your training. Remember, hold, strong, focus, focus. You can do it. You can do it. Two more hours. <laughs> put in a lot of hard work, but I can only take you so far. Now, it's time for you to meet the master. Who's that? You will find out, but I will see you at Food and Wine Festival. Okay. Rhino Ken, travel with Rick Van Favorite, wine guru, food aficionado, and all around great guy. Okay, Rick, food and wine, it's coming soon. You need to be ready. Yeah, man. Okay? Now, this is not going to be easy. Why? Why? <laughs> wine. There's three different wines I brought. Okay, cool. And these are all reds. So nice. I'm helping you out at least that far. All right, they're I gave you the benefit of the doubt. You know they're white red. from red. All right, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. All right, we're gonna line them up. You're gonna taste them. You're gonna tell me what they are. Cool. Obviously, you don't know what's in each bottle. Blind taste testing. Blind Gary V style. Absolutely. I like how you roll. All right. Man. Are you ready? Yeah, let's give it this a shot. This is just the beginning of your training. All right, cool. Okay. All right, it's red. It's red. I like red. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing? I'm drinking the red. You told me to taste it. Did you forget about everything that we learned from Gary V? I guess everything. so, man. We, what do you, you don't just drink it. Ugh. You have to swirl, swirl it. it. Okay, we gotta swirl. Let the aromas open up and that body just, you know, that bouquet just explode. A little right. bit more swirl. Come on, Get swirl. into okay. it. There yeah. we go. All right. Put some energy in. Put some energy. Get your nose in there and take a sniffy sniff. Sniffy sniff. It's red. It is red. It's red. What do you smell? Just take it in. Uh, why? Why not? Let's, let's, let's see how it hits on, on the palate. Let's, let's. Should I? What? Again, didn't you learn anything from Gary V? Uh, stop. Taste the wine. Taste the wine. Splash it around. Just drink the wine. Okay. I'll let you slide on that. Right. Right. Try right. again. Right. Try it. We're just starting here, and you're already. Sniffy sniff. Mmm, I like this. What do you feel? What do you taste? Uh, a little blackberry. Okay. Um, maybe a little crushed dirt. I heard okay. Gary Vaynerchuk okay. say that okay. one time on his okay. show. So, um, 
All right, so I'm going to take a stab at this one. Um, kind of tastes like a Merlot to me. No. No. Figured most everything is Merlot that's red. I figured I had a shot, you know? All right. Okay, let's not just get stuck on one. We got That's why we got three. Okay. We're here to train right. your palate. So I guess this wasn't a Merlot then. No. Okay. All right. Another red. Another red. All right. Okay. Big swirl. Big swirl. You can do it. Focus. All right. There you go. Nice swirl technique. Nose in there. Definitely a little tobacco. Okay. Smell a little tobacco. Already right off, the, yeah. off the. All right. All right. Got some nice color there. All right. Okay. This one does have some good legs too. Okay. All right. Take it in. Think about all the food and wines we've been around all around the world you, showcase. You've shown me so much, man. You should have picked up something by uh, now. I know. All right, so this is kind of big. This has got a lot of flavor. So I'm thinking maybe Cabernet Sauvignon. Rick, no. All right, now one more. Well, let's try one more. Here we go. All right. The swirl. We start can't, the swirl. can't look at the bottle or the label first here. Just no. gotta guess what it is. Come on, guys. Could you do this? I mean, he's got me under pressure. You guys are watching. There's food and wine right over there. We're sitting here drinking wine. Well, that's what we're supposed to do. But we're educating right. you. But we're swirling. Gotta get ready. We're swirling. Look, got a good swirl. Another right good there. swirl. I Love it. That. All right. I got this one. I got this one. I remember, let's see, I went, yeah, we had something like this. So I'm thinking, you know, a little south of the border, a little Argentina maybe, thinking about that chimichurri sauce with that um, empanada that we had. I'm thinking Malbec. <laughs> You're so not ready. We got a lot of work to do. Okay, Rick, it's time for whites. I like Are whites. you ready? Okay. Oh, whites. Once again, whites are cold, right? We serve whites cold. They are chilled for you, my okay, friend. Okay, excellent. All right, here we go. All right, it's white. Get that. Okay. All right. You should be smelling different aromas in the whites. Okay. Got a little bit of a lighter color. All right. All right. So I notice the color, mm -hmm. right? So we could be golden. We could be a little lighter. All right. A little grassy. I think I got this one doing it. Okay. Right? I have faith in you. Oh yeah, I know this one. Sauvignon Blanc. No. <laughs> Rick, Rick, Gosh. what are we gonna do? I don't know. You, this is a gimme, okay? All right, this all right, is a gimme. It's a gimme. Chardonnay, Chardonnay! Oh, you gotta drink it first, right? You have to drink it first. You have to smell it first. You have to swirl it first. Okay. In that order. Right, so a little bigger color there. Okay. Come I'm on. Re I'm recognizing this. It's not a Riesling, nope. all right? But it's nice and sweet. So it's not ice wine. Moscato. You got it, buddy. Yeah. That's one down. All right. Down. All right. All right. Now, all right. Now, now I'm liking this. I'm okay. liking this. Here we go. This is not a gimme, so. Okay. All right, so All right, nice golden color. Now put that same technique you used for the Moscato with this one. All right, see, I saw this the in a wine, saw this in a wine seminar somewhere. You know, put, it, put it to a white thing here. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. A little oaky. All I like right. this. Kind of dry. Chardonnay. Oh, dude. No. Not Chardonnay. But I got, one, I got one, right? But that I liked, was the gimme. I figured I had to give you one easy one. But I liked them all, though. They were all really good. Well, of course they're all really good. Okay. All this right. To prepare you for food and wine. All right. All right. Let's go do something else. We'll come back to this. I, I'm going to get okay. this wine thing down. I am. I have faith. All right. Excellent. Let's go do something else. Okay, Rick. The next part of your training. If you remember food and wine, it's not just get our wine. We have to navigate getting the food and wine from the kiosk to a place 
you know, navigating through the field to a place where we can shoot the next video. Right, right, okay? right. And there's, there's a lot to get. There's a lot to do. All right, to get. but you can do it. That's why we're practicing. Okay, so, okay. all right, so we got food. We got food. All right, so I can do this. Yep. All right. We got a couple glasses of wine. Okay. But we got we to gotta eat with something. <sighs> whoa, whoa, slide her down, slide her down. Now okay, you got to go back, start over, get us another burger. There goes our budget. <laughs> there goes the budget. Try again. All right, all right, all right, Remember, all right. use your resources, Rick. You have a pocket. Ah, okay. There we go. All right. All right, cool. All right, all right. now. So I got the wine. I got okay. the food. I'm balancing. Balancing. Right. Think about your days when you worked in a restaurant. Got, got to work the crowd, man. Got to work, work the crowd. Work the crowd because you never know what will come folks. out. Whoops. It Excuse be, me, ma'am. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry, lady. Child on your left. Look Child out. On your look left. out. Look out. Look out. Oh, okay. Got it, man. Okay. Thanks. Have Watch out for that wheelchair. Oh. Ah, there you go. Okay, turn, turn, pivot. You find a spot? I got it, man. Right here, right here, right here. Ah, there we go. There we go. Get the tripod, man. You ready? Napkins. Oh. I didn't get napkins. <laughs> so close. Okay, Rick, you ready for your next stage of training? I think I'm ready, Ken. We need the practice getting your oh, passport, passport book. Stamp. That's our filled up one from last year, man. It is. It is. But. It's not easy. You always, sometimes you forget. Yeah, I know. We got to go back. It takes some back. time. Exactly. I need you to practice for them. Okay. All right. All right. So we got the nice people at the marketplaces. I'm going to come up to them. Nice, cute cast members working there. Snap my butt, please. No, 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 no. No. Okay. Friendlier, friendlier. This okay. is the happiest place on earth. All right. All right. Listen, I'm enjoying Singapore here. Uh, can I get a beef ring ding? Yeah. Throw in one of those Singapore slings, and uh, yeah, snap my buck. No, no, no. Rick, Rick, Rick. Still not nice? No. Nice, sir. Nice, sir. I gotta work on yeah, I, gotta, I gotta work on my people skills. <laughs> I really do, you know? All right, all right. So let me let me see if I can Try do this. Me. Okay, so we're in Canada, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, can you, uh, <laughs> uh, I would like, um, I would like to have the cheddar cheese soup. I think I'll have salmon with that. And would you please, I've enjoyed visiting your country so much, stamp my passport book, please. How's that? I think you could do better. I'll work on it. <laughs> okay, all right. So, so, so we're in Argentina. Hey, I know what to do in Argentina. Okay. Hey, this is a cool country you got here. Listen, let me get that uh, beef empanada. Now listen, would you mind adding some of that chimichurri sauce from the beef skewer? That goes really well with the chimichanga. And I'm having such a great time here in Argentina. Hey, can I get you to stand my passport book, please? You're ready. Awesome! Okay, Rick. We're back. I've poured three wines for you. I've let them sit a little bit, so the flavors have opened up, and they've matured a little bit in that flavor while they're waiting. Okay? Nice. So this should give you a little bit, I wouldn't say of an advantage, but you're going to get some really great flavors out of these wines. I'm excited. I, remember, I think I'm ready, Ken. You think you're ready? I think I'm ready. Just remember everything that we've gone over. All the training. Flavors. Flavors. The smells. How, how it's done. How the Trust swirling. your palate. Trust your palate. Think Got all it. the way back to the first time you had your first glass of wine. Okay. All the way to now. Put that all in. Go, all right. my friend. Oh, that's rich. Yeah. I like it. Okay. It's got a big nose, really nice legs, good alcohol content. Great. What do you think of the color? The color's nice. It's rich. Really deep purples. Really, really nice. It smells really good. Oh, yeah. I could just imagine that piece of steak from... Uh -huh. uh, South Africa that we had, you know, a nice big filet mignon from Canada to go with that. Mm -hmm. That's a Cabernet Sauvignon, my friend. Guess what? Yeah! You got it. Ding, ding. Give that man a glass of cab. That's only number one. All right. You got two more. Okay, I'm ready. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. All right, so looking at it. Take your time now. Still, we got some purples in there, but it's a little lighter. Good observation, yeah. Not as much legs. Uh -huh. <clears throat> oh yeah. Got some cherry in there. A little tobacco. A little lighter. 
You could pair that with a nice fish or a good piece of lamb. I'm thinking Pinot Noir. You would be correct, my friend. Right on. Look at there. Founders Estate. Yeah. I'm impressed. Okay. I'm impressed. All right. But there's still bottle number three to go. One more. One more, and I'm ready to go over there and go out into the field and try this. That's right. All right. Oh, wow. That's very earthy. I like that. A little different. It smells really rich. Nice color. Deep. Got a lot of leg on it. Wow. That's nice. Tell Definitely that. some blackberry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even a little blueberry maybe. Kind of a blanket of vanilla Ooh, around it. Kind of nice. kind of oaky. All right. So I'm going to take a stab at this one. I'm I could go one of two ways here, but I'm thinking Old Vine Zinfandel. I'm sorry, what was that? Old Vine Zinfandel. Did you say Old Vine Zinfandel? Look at there. Brick. Yeah. I kind I of think, think you're ready. Okay. Awesome. I I'm think ready you're to ready. go over there. Awesome. Rick, I can't believe you got the blanket of vanilla on that old vine Zinfandel. Yeah, you know, that was a great wine, Ken. You know, I picked up right away that those grapes had a tough time that year. You know, I think it was maybe they were grown on a on a hillside. Must have had a lot of sun that year. They really came out, really opened up a lot of fruit in that wine. It was just so, so awesome. You are ready. You are really ready. I feel like I'm ready, man. I'm going to go to Food and Wine Festival. I will see you in Argentina. Argentina it is, my friend. Thanks a lot, Kent. You bet. At Kingdom Magic Vacations, we believe that life should be measured out in memories. For over 17 years, Kingdom Magic Vacations has specialized in making vacation dreams come true for families visiting Disneyland, Walt Disney World, Disney Cruise Line, and Adventures by Disney. Kingdom Magic Vacations has been honored as an authorized Disney vacation planner, and that means we are recognized by Disney as a leader in planning magical vacations to Disney destinations. Our knowledge and experience allows our travel professionals to custom tailor your Disney vacation and make them truly magical. We know that each moment you spend on vacation creates a memory that lasts a lifetime you can start planning your magical Disney vacation by visiting KingdomMagic.com today. Well, hey guys, thanks a lot for watching this week's show. We're here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Actually, this is a jumbo house. And yeah, that's two real giraffes walking out there on the savannah. This happens to be a savannah view, which gives you, you guessed it, a savannah view. And there are live animals right around. This morning, zebras right out there. Wildebeest. Oh yeah, it's amazing. It's a great place to stay. We just want to take a minute and remind you, if you have not done so, up there in the upper right hand corner, drop in your email address. That way you'll be signed up for our feed. You'll be the first to know whenever we put something new here on Travel with Rick. If you really want to find out what's going on, check out our Facebook page, facebook.com slash travel with Rick. That's where we put our question of the week, as well as you can interact with other Travel with Rick friends, find out where we're going, where we've been, and what we think about some of the places we visited. Also, if you're on iTunes or YouTube, yeah, of course, we've got channels for you over there as well. Subscribe to them if you wish, and be sure to rate us if you uh, consume those types of media. We really appreciate it. Well, listen, you never know where we're going to be next week. We could be right back here in Orlando or halfway around the world. So check us out right back here. Find out where we're going next. So long, everybody.